Fourth and fifth graders have bodies preparing for or entering puberty. Because of this, their bodies are working very hard. By fourth and fifth grade, most girls are in the midst of a growth spurt. Boys may be as well, or they may be close to starting. Signs of puberty such as hair growth and oily skin, as well as voice changes for boys, start to show in fourth and fifth grade. Because of these changes in their bodies, fourth and fifth graders may begin eating more than they did before, and they need more sleep. Fourth and fifth grade is generally the time that right or left dominance solidifies. For example, students perform consistently better with one of their arms and with one of their legs. Students also make considerable gains in fine motor skills, particularly in handwriting. At this age, students are transitioning from what Piaget calls the concrete operational stage to the formal operations stage. This means that students are becoming capable of reasoning abstractly and thinking about abstract concepts. Students are more capable of seeing the big picture of things. Some examples of these changes are as follows. Students realize that there are differences in the way people perceive themselves and other people. Students can start predicting the consequences of an action. Students can see more than one side of an issue. Students start to form opinions, though they still struggle to separate facts from opinions. Students develop a better sense of responsibility and students start using systems thinking. Students understand how things are connected. They are able to understand the effects of climate change, for example, or how the behavior or mood of one person can affect everyone else in the classroom. Fourth and fifth graders are beginning to enter a phase of their life when they begin to struggle to find their places socially. They also think more about others' perceptions of them. Students at this age typically struggle with self-esteem. This is often attributed to significant physical changes they undergo. Mood swings become more common in fourth and fifth grade. Students at this age are increasingly interested in having deeper friendships and may begin to narrow their friend groups more. As a result, students may find it difficult to resist peer pressure. Students may begin to develop crushes or pretend to have crushes in order to fit in with friends. According to Fowler's stages of faith development, students at this age are transitioning from the mythic literal stage of development to the synthetic conventional stage. According to Professor Keeley, professor of education at Calvin College, development at this stage reflects the fact that students are more capable of thinking abstractly, and it reflects some of the egocentric tendencies that students at this age begin to have. Students are becoming capable of putting Bible stories and texts into the larger story of faith. They are starting to see the bigger picture of God's story. Students at this stage of faith development place much of the authority for their faith outside themselves. They take what other adults and authorities say about their faith as the truth. They do not typically reflect personally or individually on faith. Recognizing the fact that they are inside of a belief system is difficult for people at this stage of faith development. So while fourth and fifth graders are becoming better at abstract thinking and seeing the bigger picture, they typically have not yet developed the ability to personally examine and reflect on faith or find authority for faith inside of themselves. Mm -hmm.